Hello, Stephen, and anybody who may be watching on YouTube or Facebook. Wonderful. Now, uh, we've got up to letter S in the alphabet, and this is, well, well, where we go? Where is Shutoff, and how did you decide to go there? <laughs> Said. Well, where it is, you'll find out in a minute, because that's one of the sentences. Um, the, re the reason why we're going to shut off is because probably not many people outside Germany know where it is, but you and I know very well where it is. It's because we, we... of where I'm from. So my family is still there. And... Uh, well, if I go to Germany, of course, you have to come with me. That's true. That's true. <laughs> so and... You've been a few times as well. But I've still managed to find some sentences that you would not know. So um, it's new to you as well. Wonderful. And we say hello to Chris. Chris, thank you for joining us. And uh, the idea is this, that we're visiting Schuttorf and Gallica has put together 12 sentences this week, two more than usual, because <laughs> it's such a good place to visit. Absolutely. And uh, I will read out the sentences in German, and Gallica will correct my pronunciation, and then together we'll actually translate the sentence. If you want to uh, play along, then you could read the sentences with us. You can't actually, we can't hear you, so there's no problem there. And if you do have a translation, you can send that translation in, and we'll feature it on screen. So do take part. So to set things going, uh, I've got to find the first item. Okay, welcome to the show. And the show is Aska Angelica, Vidic shut off. And I'm sorry, I missed the two umlauts off. <laughs> yeah, it's just, right, the, the, there should be two, an umlaut above the, the U. Okay, but anyway, yeah. let's carry on. Here they are. This is where they should be. Uh, so, phrase one: Schuttorf ist eine Stadt in der Grafschaft Bentheim in Niedersachsen. Yeah, well done. Sh well, you should know this one, shouldn't you? Schuttorf ist eine Stadt in der Grafschaft Bentheim in Niedersachsen. Yeah, should should know it. Okay, so if you said that as I was reading it, then good. Uh, and now we're on to the, the translation. Uh, Schuttorf is a town in the um, Bentheim region in Saxony. Lower Saxony. Lower Saxony. Yeah, this is the Grafschaft Bentheim is the, the, the name of, of the county. Okay. okay. And the official translation is Schuttorf is a town in the county of Bentheim in Lower Saxony. Okay, phrase two, as we'll learn more about Schuttorf. Uh, Schuttorf ist seit 1995 eine Stadt und somit die älteste, älteste Stadt der Grafschaft Bentheim. Yeah, well done with the numbers now. Schuttorf ist seit 1295 eine Stadt und somit die älteste Stadt der Grafschaft Bentheim. And Stephen, welcome Stephen. Stephen has caught us live. Guten Tag. Mm, good. Okay, so I'll hide that and I'll go back to the agenda. And we were on there. So Shut off uh, since the since 1295 has been a town and it's the oldest town in the county of uh Bentheim. Yeah, and um not sure how well this shows, but we're, we're going to go full screen. Okay. And I'm going to take that off screen. Hopefully, right. I can't see anything now. Me, it's okay. I'll, I'll guide you. I'll guide you. <laughs> I'm going to take that off screen so we can see more of the picture. And it's tell us about the picture. It's not looking too bad. So tell us about the picture. Well, this this is what it looked like in 1295. So wow. actually, where um, our family home was, that isn't within the, the town walls yet. Um, yeah. But the significance a little bit is, and I'll put the picture away again now, is okay. that um, this actually happened this month. They celebrated it last year. Actually, um, the sad news is they had celebrations planned for nearly the whole year. And uh -huh. uh, thanks to COVID, of course, none of that has happened. 
Um, so, but yes. Right. And message from Stephen, and Stephen is pointing out Le Saxony, Le Saxony is the home of VV. Yeah, but nowhere near where, where we are. No. Right. <laughs> it, you, you're right, Stephen, but we both know you're wrong at the same time. So, <laughs> right. Okay. And uh, translation of that sentence, sentence number two, is uh, Shuttoff has been a town since 1295 and is therefore the oldest town in the county of Bentheim. Phrase three, das bedeutendste Gebäude heute ist die evangelisch reformiert Kirche. Yeah, nearly, Gebäude, it's got the umlaut there. Das bedeutendste Gebäude heute ist die evangelisch reformierte Kirche. Das bedeutendste Gebäude heute ist die evangelisch, right, yeah, okay. <laughs> Right, uh, bedeutendste is famous? Yeah, the bedeutendste is the most famous. Or the most, not, sorry, not famous, most important. Right. So, the most important building mm -hmm. is the uh, in Va in Van Gogh. Reform Church. The Protestant. Evangelistic Church. Reform Church. Protestant. Protestant. So Evangelisch is Protestant. Yeah. Okay. And translation is the most important building today is the Protestant Reformed Church. Okay. Press four. Your tomb is ein and Axig Meter Hawk. Yeah, well done. Your tomb is ein and Axig Meter Hawk. Right, and so with me, Chris and Stephen, the tower is 81 meters high. Yeah. Yeah. And it is, it's right in the center of town. And you can see the tower from a wide area around the town, can't mm. you? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm just trying to think about on the picture, whether you could see it on the picture. How All right, okay. Actually, yes, you could. Going back to the picture, you can see where it is, because even then it was the biggest one. I'm looking close at the screen. Nobody can see me looking close at the screen. But yes, yes, I think we can just about pick the church out. <laughs> um, be good if we could actually post a print of that at some point. Is it copyright, though? That's the question. Yeah, it would be, yes. OK, let's go back to the two of us and go onward to phrase five wegen ihrer große nennt man sie auch den schutthofer riesen riesen yeah you were right wegen ihrer größe nennt man sie auch den schutthofer riesen um wegen Ira Grosser is its size. Or oh, its height, yeah. Because of its, height, yeah. Because of its height, yeah. Uh, you, you can see the whole of Schutthof from the tower. <laughs> That's yeah. a good guess. No, because of its height or its size, um, it is also called the Schutthof giant. Riese is a giant. Oh, right. Okay. Totally got that totally wrong. <laughs> so let's have the official translation. Yes, yeah. so. I, I paraphrased and got it wrong. I uh, phrase five because of its size, it's also called the shut off giant. Okay, now uh, we know. I didn't know that. You're quite right. I'm learning things I didn't know about mm -hmm. shut off. You won't know the next bit either. I, I'd heard it before, but I'd forgotten as well. All right. <laughs> Nike eine Legende, Blanter de Kirchturm am um, Accent in February, accent hundred nine on Haxig, on Vorder mit Milch gelöscht, 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 and is achter February. Achter. Yeah, nach einer Legende brach, brand, sorry, nach einer Legende brannte der Kirchturm am 8. Februar 1889 und wurde mit Milch gelöscht. 
Right. According to legend, mm -hmm. the church tower on the 8th of February, 1889, was something with milk. Geleshed? Geloshed? Geloshed? Well, brannte is from brennen, which is to burn. Uh -huh. So there was a fire. All right. And geloshed is extinguished. Right. We've just proved that I don't read the translations of these sentences before we go live, because I like to make this realistic. And it is. Yeah. Okay, so phrase six. Uh, according to legend, the church tower burnt down on the 8th of February, 1889, and was extinguished with milk. Yeah, it actually, it, it burned down. It, it had fires four times. And uh -huh. uh, this this last one with the milk, uh, some websites say it's legend, others saying it really happened. But apparently the milk became encrusted and didn't allow any oxygen to reach the fire. Wow. And that's how it okay. got put down. Okay. Uh, this is incredible. Shut off hat einen See, der Quendorfer See. Yeah. With the nice picture behind you. Shut off at Einen Z. Oh, yeah, hang on, let's just, let's, just, let's just show everybody. <laughs> behind me, this is Quendor for say, and as you can see, it's a beach, and in summer, it is full of people from all over uh, the county, and uh, it's just an amazing place to go. It's an oasis in the middle or to the edge of Shut off. I, I always find it looks, and uh, that's that's why I, I took the picture at the time because it mm. looks like as if you're in I don't know, in Spain, south yeah. of France or Spain or somewhere, some southern country, not in northern Germany. Well, you wouldn't take. I mean, Schutthof is what a uh, hundred kilometers from the sea. Oh, uh, possibly. I have got no idea, yeah. but it's quite a bit. Yeah. Yeah. And that's the North Sea, which also is not always very warm. Right. My translation of this is that Schutthof has a lake called the Quendorf Zee. The Queen, about the same. The official translation of that <coughs> is uh, Schutthof has a lake, the Quendorf Zee. <laughs> yes, I got one right. Now, the, the, the thing is that, that this was actually uh, built when they were building the motorway yes There's a story behind it yeah? yeah it's man-made they needed uh, lots of um, earth to to um, build the motorway and um so they dug this huge hole and uh, then turned it into this absolutely fantastic lake and you're right they're coming from all over the country and from holland um to to spend a day or holidays there I mean, it's only just over the border from holland isn't it Yes, you well, we hop, like skip, and, well. yeah. hop, skip, and a jump, really. Yeah. Um, yes, so that's that's the leg behind me, and uh, we have spent many a happy ha hour in the sunshine, if you're <laughs> listening, weather. Uh, <laughs> it's an amazing place to be. And it has, it not in the photo, but it has a restaurant now, doesn't it? Yes, I took that picture before um, the, the restaurant wasn't built yet. There's a huge restaurant. Uh, it's a nice play park there as well for kids to play. And uh, it's nice walk around, even if it's not sunny enough to go swimming. It's nice for a walk. It's nice in the winter for a walk. Well, it's, it's surrounded by woodland, isn't it? So you can go for a, a walk in the woods. And... Just go full picture for a moment. The lake you can see in the background, you can see people swimming. So oh, yeah. we've we've been swimming in there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Phrase number eight. And I've gone past it. I'll come back. Uh, phrase eight of twelve is quite long. Uh, es gibt einen weißen Sandstrand und man kann surfen, segeln, rudern und natürlich schwimmen. Ja, yeah, es gibt einen weißen Sandstrand, as you can see in the picture, und man kann surfen, segeln, rudern und natürlich schwimmen. And just going back to milk, Stephen saying it was pasteurized milk, and say hello to Corinda. 
Okay, so yeah. we're, we're on. <laughs> Hello, Corinda. So we're on phrase uh, eight, and uh, here we are. Es gibt einen weißen Sandstrand und man kann surfen, segeln, rudern und natürlich swimmen. Okay, uh, there is a white sandy beach. Mm -hmm. uh, one you can surf there. You can say, canoe, sail, sail. Mm -hmm. uh, I was going to say row down. Row. All right, you can sail row, and naturally you can swim. So, the official translation of phrase eight is the next one down, and the official, trans the official translation is: there's a white sandy beach, and you can surf, sail, row, and of course swim. And on to phrase nine of our German lesson. Ein alter Brauch in Schüttorf ist das Weggenbringen. Ja, ein alter Brauch in Schüttorf ist das Weggenbringen. All right, okay. An old uh, something in Schüttorf is das Weggenbringen, which I'm going to guess is a name. Uh, <laughs> yes, it is. It is. Custom uh, practice. Brauch is a custom, yeah. So an old custom in Schüttorf, actually in the whole Grafschaft Bentheim, but that would have made the sentence longer. Uh, and Wegenbringen is basically the bringing of a Wegen, but um, that doesn't tell you yet what it is. Was ist ein Wegen? Oh, anyway, we'll translate this one first, then we'll go and find out. Yeah. Okay, so translation of uh, phrase nine is, an old custom in Schüttorf is the bringing of a Wegen. Mm -hmm. So... Phrase 10 will tell us a bit more. Uh, wird ein Kind geboren, bringen die Nachbarn und Freunde einen Wegen. Yeah, so at the moment you still don't know what it is. But no. you when. Wird ein Kind geboren, bringen die Nachbarn und Freunde einen Wegen. Right. When a child is born, uh, neighbors yeah. and friends yeah. uh, bring... I, a vegan. I, I'm a vegan. Yeah. You'll have to wait. Still don't know what it is. Corinda, do you know what it is? <laughs> uh, okay. And on with our German lesson. And translation of that is, uh, when a child is born, neighbours and friends bring a wagon. And it's about time we found out what it is. <laughs> yeah, okay, it's a so, two-part sentence, though. Okay. Uh, vegan. Uh, das ist ein oft bis zu zwei Meter langes Rosinen, Rosinenbrot. Ja, das ist ein oft bis zu zwei Meter langes Rosinenbrot. Uh, right, okay. Uh, that is a two. For bread? Current loaf. Ah, why? It's often up to two meters long. Okay, we'll find out more in a minute. So the translation is, uh, it's a current loaf, often up to two meters long. That's, that's six, six mm -hmm. feet. That's yeah. feet. Ginormous. And the second part of the phrase, in, uh, das auf eine Leiter getragen wird. Ja, so, es ist ein oft ein, das ist ein oft bis zu zwei Meter langes Rosinenbrot, das auf einer Leiter getragen wird. So we've got a six foot long current loaf and it's brought on a tray. Ladder. Oh. Ladder. Right, do we know, um, we'll put the translation up and then I can remove all the uh, text from the bottom, which carried on a ladder. Ah, but what happened That's... there? <laughs> You've got oh. two two bits on there. I've got both on there. That's yeah. a deliberate mistake this week. <laughs> We're always the one somewhere, right? Okay, so I'm going to go up to the end. Uh, okay, All right. So, do we know where the tradition came from? I I guess um, it it was um, food, and this I mean this is an old tradition. Yeah, yeah. and uh, current loaf keeps reasonably well. 
and uh, I, I guess it, it was to feed the family. Nowadays, it's done for fun. Yeah, I don't think it's so important and it may not be. I, I don't know whether they still do them up to two meters and they probably do use something a bit more sturdy than a ladder. I can't see that being very, um, <laughs> I don't know. But um, okay. I, people yeah. still do it and they have okay. often sort of traditional clothing. I think, I can't remember now, I think it's a white shirt and uh, uh, um, a red scarf mm -hmm. and it gets held together by the, the the cover of a matchstick box oh, right. okay not not a woggle then what's that oh uh, i'll tell you what the woggle is later <laughs> you've never been a boy scout have you um right no, this, okay I'm, I'm guessing again this is improvising yeah yeah what uh, do you if you're poor what do you have nothing match boxes matches yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, out to Corinda, and uh, we'll fit this in before we do the final bit. <laughs> Can you slow down? That's too fast. If you watch, if you go back and watch the earlier episodes, Corinda, it was so slow it wasn't true. But if I'm speaking quickly, then that's a good thing. But I will slow down for the next show. And can't keep up. And a child is born. Oh, that Excellent. was the translation yeah. when I uh, vid and kind yeah. bought one, yeah. Yeah, that was good. Okay, so now what we're going to do is uh, the sentences will be read in perfect German with an almost perfect English translation, and we'll start at the beginning again. So go back to the first of twelve sentences, and they'll be read quite perfectly by Angelica, and then over to you. Okay. Schüttlock ist eine Stadt in der Grafschaft Bentheim in Niedersachsen. Schüttlock ist eine Stadt in der County of Bentheim in Lower Saxony. Schüttlock ist seit 1295 eine Stadt und somit die älteste Stadt der Grafschaft Bentheim. Schuttorf has been a town since 19... Look, no hands. Uh, Christmas in... Ge what is Christmas in German, Angelica? Weihnachten. Oh, yeah, I was just, it wasn't a trick question. Corinda just asked. Um, okay. That's going to happen from time to time. Noted that it happened. And uh, Okay, what was the last one we did? Uh, should... I can't remember if you read it already, but Chutov has been a town since 1295. All right, okay, I'll read it again. Chutov has been a town since 1295 and is therefore the oldest town in the county. Okay, three, three. Das bedeutendste Gebäude heute ist die evangelisch reformierte Kirche. The most important building today is the Protestant Reformed Church. Ihr Turm ist 81 Meter hoch. The tower is 81 meters high. Sorry. You can read it without seeing the text. Amazing. Wegen ihrer Größe nennt man sie auch den Schüttorfer Riesen. And translation is, uh, because of its size, it also called the Schüttorf Giant. Not what I said earlier. So that's the correct translation. <laughs> Nach einer Legende brannte der Kirchturm am 8. Februar 1889 und wurde mit Milch gelöscht. Translates to, according to a legend, the church tower burnt down on the 8th of February 1889 and was extinguished with milk. And as Stephen said, uh, it could well have been, well, okay. press 7. Schüttorf hat einen See, den Quendorfer See. Schüttorf has a lake, the Quendorfer See. Es gibt einen weißen Sandstrand und man kann surfen, segeln, rudern und natürlich schwimmen. 
there's a white sandy beach and you can surf sail and row and of course swim ein alter brauch in schüttorf ist das wecken bringen An old custom in Schuttorf is the bringing of a, ve of a wagon. Wird ein Kind geboren, bringen die Nachbarn und Freunde einen Wagon. When a child is born, neighbors and friends bring a wagon. Das ist ein oft bis zu zwei Meter langes Rosinenbrot. It's a current loaf, up, often up to two meters long. Das auf einer Leiter getragen wird. And the final translation is, which is carried on a ladder, uh, and then ignore the last bit, <laughs> that last bit is, a, is an error. So let's take that off screen. I'm just gonna scroll down until that's off screen and that's taken it off. Let's just catch up with the comments. Oh, right. And Vine Acton, Stephen's answered. Corinda, thank you, Stephen. And then Chris. Chris is saying, uh, thank you so much. I'm going to search for the beautiful medieval city of Angelica. So as I know it is on the map. My geography of Germany isn't so good. Neither is mine, but I do know where Schuttorf is. Um, <laughs> I'm fortunate to have, have been there many times. Uh, sorry to interrupt the topic. And broke right. Oh, okay. Sorry. I wish wish Andy well. We're not sure which Andy, uh, but uh, our good wishes go to Andy. And uh, right. Okay. Yeah, it's very difficult when we're, we're sort of uh, doing a particular topic and not a, a general discussion. So. What we're going to do now is I'm going to actually show you the photograph without me in front so you can actually see it in all its splendor. So that is the photograph. I'm going to put that full screen. Angelica, would you like to close today's broadcast? Yes, I'm beginning to feel really cold seeing that picture. <laughs> uh, but then again, we are in November. Um, so this was the letter S. In two weeks' time, we're going to a place beginning with T. Uh, I know which one it is. I haven't done any research yet. I have never been there, but it's actually your choice. Hmm. Yeah, you suggested to okay. me a town beginning with, or a city beginning with T. If you've forgotten, well, that's even better then, because then you won't remember either. That was two weeks ago. <laughs> How are you expecting? <laughs> So tea, it will be next time. Okay. And? and until then, it's just for me. On shoes for me. Danke alles. Bis next time. <laughs> Thank yeah. you, everybody. Take care, and we'll see.